Guys, we just set up our camping stuff here at Two Harbors. It's the only campground here at Two Harbors on Catalina Island. It's actually pretty cool. This is about our fourth or fifth time here, and this is actually our second time at the spot. Here we have our tents like packed up like this or set up, and so we have that, and we put it up there just because it's a flatter surface right here, and it gives you more stuff to do around here, around the fire pit and stuff. But anyways, we've been here before, and I like the spot a lot. Lot. Pre so do I. My preference, but just because if you look over here, we got two table spots and you got this whole awning and this whole roof set up right here. So it gives you a lot of shade because here there's not too much shade at two harbors because it's always sun hitting on you. Fun beach view, perfect weather. So you got two tables, you got the roof, you got a beautiful ocean view, which you can't beat because I mean, look at this. This is tropical to me and I'm liking it and just. And you got bathrooms right there and it's not loud not many people are here right now it's sunday technically where we are but it's just a perfect spot you get a good aspect of what a good view pretty much like you just you can't beat this this is by far in the one. morning there's a nice cove over there if you look to the right behind ryan yeah later we're on we're gonna go there later what Later on, we're going to show you the cove over there. There's this little cave spot, and you're going to really like cool cliff jumping. You can see a lot of snorkel spots along the way. But this spot in particular is just nice that we're in a nice open area like this. You got the tent set up in flat surfaces. You got your own fire pit. And look at all the space you got. And you got these nice hills too. So you're looking inland, and it actually looks pretty nice. And we're about to go fishing. I'm about to line my pull up with some 30 pound line. And, uh, And time to go some, get some shark fishing. We got some steel meters over here. Some 24 inch. Pretty nice. We've caught a few sharks over here. And uh, that's my setup. An ugly stick with a nice reel on it. That's happy. So we're gonna show you more of a closer look at the harbor and just see like what other spots there is to reserve your campsite if you were interested in coming here. Right here, where we are, it's more isolated, so like there's not many people around you. But if you're down here, look how close to all the sites are like around you. You see all those awnings, all those roofs, or whatever you want to call them, and all those picnic tables so close to each other. So you don't have as much privacy as you want to have if you want to go camping, if you if you make noise, if you drink like us. But that, I mean. This is a cool place and the spot that we're at is actually perfect so you get a pretty good look up you get a better look at the harbor obviously when you get closer down but it's more of a hike down than you think but today i'm going to tell you guys what is popular around fishing around here so we have brandon right here so brandon i just want to ask you what kind of like fishing line test do i want to use around here or what kind of like do i need steel leaders or what size hook do i what need? i'm using so far is a size six sometimes i use a size five and I got about 24 inch leader, okay, steel so, leader, because there's a lot of sharks around here. Wow, okay, so that's what you need to catch the sharks, or just at least big catches around here, right? Yeah, sharks have really sharp teeth, so you don't want to use monofilament. You so 30 use pound is like the top one you one you want to have, or at least that's 30 good to 50 pound, I would oh, okay. say. And we got 30 pound monofilament test. Okay, that's what we're using so far today. So you recommend this line to be like the best type of like line or the at least fishing test you want us to use for yeah. when we fish around two harbors right here yeah okay so this is the best setup and i mean does it matter like if it's a conventional reel or like this a is regular... only if you're using if you're only catching sharks if you want to catch like sheephead other stuff i don't think you need to use steel line you need to use this regular oh, gotcha. 30 pound line okay cool but out here is this where you catch a sheephead and not much like shark action or stingray stuff pretty much right yeah we just we were over here on the boat about uh -huh. a year ago and we saw a bunch of huge stingrays and a lot of different wildlife around here. What's up guys? We're making that uh, probably, I don't know, mile, maybe more, maybe two miles hike to our fishing spot. As you can tell, I got all the fishing poles in my arm, uh, my hand, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to see if we can catch some fish and if we do, we're trying to get you guys in the water with them, see if we can get some good points of view with them. Uh, we got Ryan behind me, behind Casey. We got Brandon as well. Hey, we're all gonna go catch some fish, hopefully. 
And uh, if we do, like I said, you're gonna see us. You're gonna see them. And I got the pose with me. Let's we'll go. Catch some fish. Let's go, you guys. Cat Harbor. Cat Harbor over here you can see how flat it is you see it looks like flats from Spongebob if you guys remember that from if you're a 90s kid but this is pretty cool I've never caught a, a halibut here at all usually you just catch shark or maybe some perch or maybe little calico bass there what about the, uh, stingrays? you catch stingrays and bat rays as well but leopard shark but this is crazy this was a surprise catch this is not usual for what I used to do around here Anyways, got a little halibut. We're here at Cat Harbor. We've had some uh, fun today so far. We've been catching fish, halibut, calico bass, leopard shark. It's a pretty fun area besides swimming. And also, when you come here, I mean, usually people you normally come here either early morning or either early afternoon when they want to catch either the leopard shark, the shovel nose shark. And also there's uh, some calico bass around here and there's also some bat rays and just some normal rays in general. But the fun thing to catch around here is the leopard shark. I mean, the leopard shark, we've caught so many good leopard sharks around here. I mean, four to five feet and they're, they're, they're such a muscle, fun catch. Man. And I'm telling you, when you see these pictures from the past, they're a freaking great catch to have. Yeah. And it's also such a thrill. And to me, this is the best spot at Cat Harbor itself because you have these nice picnic tables, you There's have a nice the, breeze, you have a perfect harbor that no one bothers you, and they have some wild buffalo here and there, but hey, it's a cool place to bring your freaking food, bring your booze, bring your whatever you want to bring, but here, it's actually a good spot to go fishing if you want to yeah. catch the good bite, right there. Besides swimming, you want to go on that side to swim, but besides that, it's a good spot to fish. Yeah, you don't really want to go over there and swim, but anyways. We have our stove set up to eat some food. It's a great time all together. Catch some fresh bites around here. Leopard shark, fun to catch. Yep. If you could see this perch that uh, it's kind of wiggling around, uh, I cut it on my pole, but I didn't reel it in. If you see over here, Brandon was the one that reeled it in. Uh, but it's kind of beautiful looking, right, guys? Yep, nice and green, shiny. Cool blue eyes on those perches. I don't think we're gonna keep it. I think we're gonna throw it back. It's really hooked by the lips, so it'll be easy to unhook it. Um, I'm gonna grab Casey's pliers, I think, unhook it, and uh, we'll let this guy live tonight. Alright, so come with us while we release Nice, it. beautiful fish. Yep. Cool blue eyes. See the blue eyes on those little per perches? Yep. It's kind of dark, but hopefully you guys can see it. Whoop. Yep, dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so we had a good day at Cat Harbor today. We had a, we caught a perch, a halibut, and a calico bass. But we didn't catch no sharks like we thought we were going to, but it was a good day still. Yeah, and uh, I wish my friends would have caught more fish, but I guess it's just the way it goes. I caught like a really teeny calico bass as you guys can see in the video and uh, actually the perch I caught was like pretty sizable. It was a pretty nice size. Yeah, it was like a foot. It had really blue eyes as you guys can see in the video. Uh, like you said, we only caught a little bit of fish but we got lots more fishing to do. We got tomorrow and the next day so uh, it's going to yes. be a lot of fun and hopefully we'll catch. Last time we've been here I caught a huge shark. Hopefully next, uh, tomorrow we'll catch the uh, same thing. Yep, we're going to catch some sharks. And uh, yeah, if you guys like it, 
we like it as well. So we love your views, we love your content, and we love if you guys leave a comment below. It really helps out the channel. And if you guys like it, subscribe, uh, share with your friends, and yeah, give us some suggestions if you have anything like either bait that we should use or any spots on Catalina that we should go to. Just your let us know. Your comments really count, so make sure to like and subscribe. Like you said, your comments count. We really look at those things. It really makes us happy. So yeah, we're going to take you along and uh, we'll see what we can get. Yeah.